Wrong side. <laughs> Welcome back. Hope you like the intro, because it took a, took a really long time to make. Where are you in the hat? Well, I found it, and it's the first episode of Catching a Thief, and we're checking out again! Hey! Ole, ole! Alright, guys, on a serious note, this is the first episode of the Catching Cook series, where me and Jake are going to be catching different types of species of fish. And we're gonna bring bring them home, and we're gonna be cooking them for you guys, and showing how you can cook these different kinds of fish. It is gonna be a very fun series, not only for me and Jake, but for you guys to watch. So stay tuned for today's episode. Well, this morning, trying to catch a catfish. Oh, we're gonna just roll the clip. All right, guys, we're at the pond. Let's go. I made the first. Well, first of all, we went to one pond, didn't work out, didn't have a single fish in the cast net. Came here in first cast. That's got four. About six giant. Oh, pods. I didn't see the big one. That's five. Watch this. Let's open her up, baby. Oh, that's six. You're right. All right. These One's are a big. little too big for our taste, but this little guy right here. Perfect for the hook. Perfect. So we're going to let all the rest of these guys go. These are tilapia. This pond is infested with these guys. What are we trying to catch today? Uh, right now, yeah. we're doing a little catch and cook for you guys. I hope y'all yeah, like right. the intro. <laughs> we're going for catfish, bass. Maybe tilapia, but we don't really like eating them. Yeah, we kind of like to keep the pop tilapia population in this pond really high because it's the best uh, main source of food. All right, guys, right here, got a little tilapia. This is just a normal, uh, this is actually a trot line hook. All we're gonna do, again, this is a simple Carolina rig. You just got a little, that's a, uh, what's that called, a split shot, my bad. This is a split shot weight down to a small hook. All we're gonna do. What's a cost? Cast that thing right there. Make sure that drag is set. Perfect. We're gonna set that right there and hopefully we can catch some more tall. success catching any catfish whatsoever not even a bite but we did have some redfish in the freezer roll the clip okay yeah 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 I saw that Turn on the camera too. Oh. He's bringing me in the back. He's bringing me in the back. Oh my gosh. Hold on. He's not, he can't fit in the net. Yeah.
Yes. Um, well, at least we caught some good redfish. Jake, I caught the redfish. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's get to cooking this thing. Alright, guys. This is what you need to make the cane sauce. It's the sauce that we will be putting over the fish. All you're going to need is some ketchup, some Worcestershire sauce, some garlic salt, some mayo, and some black pepper. All you're going to do, you're going to put it, put it in a bowl, stir it up, and you'll have yourself some good old cane sauce. Let me show them how to make it. That's so what we did, we added some more mayonnaise. And uh, a bit four, more, which is here. Before it was really pink, and now it's not as pink. It's more of like an orange blandish color, and it should taste pretty good. Let's see. I like it. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm That's perfect. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna put that in the fridge. And when you're ready to eat, just pull it out. All right, guys. This is all the meat we have. For one redfish, it's really not going to lie to that big piece right there. So, what we are going to do first, is we are going to put some salt on it. Not a whole lot, but just a little. Next, take your black pepper. Or pepper, it doesn't matter. Just get all of it. Yeah, do salt on the all the back. You're just seasoning it up, just simple. Black pepper, not so much. For now. That's just getting the prep. See what I mean? Alright guys, so right here we have our fish. Again, we just salted. Next, we're putting some egg yolks. We're gonna whisk those up. We're gonna put the fish in here, which I'll show you here in a minute. And then from there, we're gonna put the fish in the flour, and the flour, and then from the flour, we put the fish in the breadcrumbs. Now these breadcrumbs, they're not normal breadcrumbs. What we did was we took Ritz crackers, we blended them up, put some Tony Sacheries in. Highly recommend. I believe, I believe it's called Tony Sacheronis. Anyways, guys, I would highly recommend this. Best brain out there. Best stuff out there. Put it on everything. That's pretty much it. We're gonna fry those guys up. We'll see you uh, after we soak them. All right. We soak the fillets for about five minutes in some egg yolk. We also put a little milk in there. All we're gonna do is roll that around in the flour. Shake off the excess, and then from there we're gonna put in the breadcrumbs. Kind of mix it around. Make sure the breadcrumbs get on. Shake off the excess. There you go. And then put it on that plate. Beautiful. Ready to cook? Do that for the rest of them. Alright guys, as you can see, we have the fish all battered up, got the oil, heating up, and all we're going to do, all we did was put some olive oil in there, not a lot, all we're going to do is put two sticks of butter, jeez, it's a lot of butter buds, and let me tell you something, I do not have enough butter to put the actual oh, fish in. A big in. If you follow this video and um, decide to cook fish this way, have a, what is it called, parent, parental, parental guidance needed. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Oh, Watch yeah. this. Oh, look at that. Maybe, maybe it's a hand fish. That's kind of falling apart. Yeah. It's, it's so tender. That's good though. Yeah. It's like ribs, you want it falling off the bone, you know? All right, just put that piece on. This piece is... 
They're kind of falling apart, which is fine. Look at that. Perfect. Oh my. Okay, put it on. Boom. Make sure there's none, like, nothing else, because, yeah. Oh, a little mess making process. Don't put the other one in. This one is only gonna be able to cook by itself. Shout out. Thanks for watching. I'm not the other. Knock on our doors out. See you next Sunday.